What's up, guys? What's good, pretty gang? How you doing? How you doing? Ow. Uh, this is just my take on Taraji P. Henson's new movie, Proud Mary. I went to go see that movie Monday. I went to stay, I saw it Monday with my sister and my mother. And, um, yeah, we were the only people in that movie theater when we went to go see it Monday. On MLK Day, Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Yeah, we were the only ones that were in the movie theater. But anyway, here's my take on that movie. Here's my opinion. Um, I didn't really look at the reviews until after. And to me personally, I think they gave them reviews because it was a woman of color that was the starring in the action that movie. Because me personally... I liked the movie. It had a good, it had a great storyline, and action was great. Acting was <laughs> a bomb because you know your girl Taraji be doing that. She does that. I'm a friend of, <laughs> I've been a bit big fan of her since Hustle and Flow, Baby Boy, all that. Like I've been a fan of Taraji. Um, basically how the movie started out was in like it was a great movie like for the spoiler I'm gonna just you know short review little hits and points and then go check it out for yourself like oh my god go check it out because it didn't I it, it didn't do good in the box office you know first opening week I think it did like 12.5 million or something like that me personally I like the movie the movie started out you know, and like great, it started. She went and, you know, in this movie, back story in the movie, Taraji is an assassin. She works for it. It's these group of people that they call, he calls, she calls Pops, who's played by Danny Glover. Okay. Yeah. And then his son, like, I think the gist of it is like she got into the business because he found her when she was younger on the streets and took her in, and then she got into the business. The business, like, look, the business. Um, and then she started dating his son and stuff like that. But then, you know, they broke up, whatever the case may be. But the movie started, she did an assassin hit on a bookie and did not know that that bookie had a child. So that when she did that, the child was there, but I, he couldn't, I guess he couldn't hear and so she felt bad like she doesn't kill kids at all and so it went to a year later and it turns out she was she took a picture and she followed that child and then she found him and the child ended up going through foster home foster home to foster home then she ended up he ended up with this drug this drug pen guy like they called him uncle or Uncle Papa, Uncle Son like it. And um it shows him going to drop off a brick of cocaine. And I was like, oh my god, I was like so basically like Taraji ended up taking him in and telling that guy that he will no longer be working for you. This little boy will not be working for you because initially she took him in out of pity because she killed his dad um and I think his mother left when he was younger so all he had was his dad and then his dad got killed and because he owed money to who the people that tried to work for pops so she initially she took him in out of pity like she watched after him because she felt bad for making him an orphan pretty much and so she took him in that reason alone ended up the guy, she ended up taking the stuff back to the guy. Like, here, all your stuff is here. Your money's here. But the little boy's out. And the guy was like, no, he ain't leaving. This, that, and the third. And pop, pop. She killed his two goons, him, and everybody that was in there. And then, turns out that the guy she killed was part of this big old organization that each person had their own split and own different parts of the city they could sell this and that to and that started this big old war and pretty much 
they tried to assassinate Danny Glover, like Pops, who was her mentor, who she considered her father. They tried to kill her, so she had they had to go to retaliate, and it just blew up from there. And in the end, like Taraji, overall Taraji ended up falling for the little boy, falling in love with the little boy and wanting to be his mother, like mother him, like be his mother, take him in, adopt him, and she wanted out of the business. Because of that reason alone. And it turns out her ex didn't like that. And he told the daddy what happened. And the little boy went and tried to kill you know who. And it just basically, like, to me, in my opinion, the movie was great. The storyline was great. The action was, like, crank. I was like, Taraji in this thing, like, <laughs> she was, I mean, she was doing her day thing, like, I liked it. Like, um, I don't think people liked it. I don't think other people. People were saying they didn't like it. They didn't like the storyline. They didn't like the action. It was just like any other action movie. But to me, it wasn't. In my opinion, it wasn't. In my opinion, it was great. In my opinion, the acting was great. The action was great. The storyline was especially great. Like the bomb. Like, um, but you know, see it for yourself. Don't go by what you read or what you see or what you hear. Because in my opinion, the movie was great. I loved it. If I could go see it again, I would go see it again. And if I was in the movie theater by myself, again, A. I was in the movie theater by myself, again. But I would definitely go check out Pal Mary, which is in theaters. It's now, and um, I hope you guys like this little short review on the, my take on it. And I would definitely, don't forget to thumbs up this video. Subscribe, hit that subscribe button down below if you're new, hit the bell, and I'll tune into the new, my new subscribers. Hi, girl, hey, how are you doing? Welcome to the Pretty Me 38 fam. And yeah, we're about to be out because she got some editing today. She sat down and recorded t today. But anyway, go check out Proud Mary, check to make sure it's playing in your local theater. Because I didn't know it was playing here where I live because I was shocked. The next movie that I will be doing a review on will be Black Panther <laughs> and Fifty Shades Free because I will be going to go see that too. Your girl's a low key on her You know, she's single and all, but she had a man. He would know what's up. But anyway, we're going we gonna to be gone. All right. Bye, y'all. Love you. And pretty people want out.